Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome to the channel. This is Naman and I'm back with another video. So, as you saw the title and the thumbnail, today's video is about me finally adding a pair of Chicago's in my collection. So, what is Chicago? Chicago is basically a colorway associated to a pair of Air Jordan 1 High that Michael Jordan wore when he was playing the Chicago Bulls. So Chicago's basically comes from the name Chicago Bulls and is basically a sneaker with a color scheme of red, white and black. So this sneaker is so iconic that not just sneakerheads are Michael Jordan fans but non-sneakerheads wants to add in their collection as well. So similarly, me being a sneakerhead and somebody who loves red colored sneakers have been wanting to add that particular color in my collection for a very long time but because of the high demand and less supply of that particular sneaker, the cost or the market value of that particular sneaker is very, very high. Talking about the market value in Indian rupees, that sneaker is going for around one and a half two lakh rupees easily in the resale market right now. And I know it's not going to be easy to add that sneaker in my collection. Also, spending one and a half two lakh rupees on just one pair of sneakers doesn't make sense to me, but. A few months ago, Nike released a pair of Nike SB Dunk in the Chicago colorway and I really really wanted to buy that particular sneaker because that resembled the Air Jordan 1 High Chicago's. But unfortunately, I couldn't get those sneakers on retail and those are reselling for around 50,000 rupees as well right now and I'm not gonna spend 50,000 rupees on just one pair of sneakers, period. So I've been waiting to add a pair of Chicago's in my collection for a long time and when I saw Dunks coming under Nike by you on the Nike website, I thought it's time to finally do it. So a few days ago I posted a video in which I showed my Nike by you Dunk customization which was inspired by Chicago's but unfortunately it was not complete because there were some restrictions on the Nike by you page and I couldn't actually customize it to what I want it to, to what I wanted it to be. But yes, when I got that particular sneaker, I had in my mind that I'm definitely gonna get it recustomized and give it the complete Chicago look. So when I got those sneakers, I contacted a customizer. Their Insta handle is underscore coach site underscore. I contacted the guy, I told him what I want. He said that's gonna be very easy. I sent him the sneaker, he took about 10 days and gave me the sneaker back and gave it a complete Chicago look. But before I show you the sneakers, let me quickly show you how the sneakers looked earlier. Right, so as you have seen how sneakers used to look, now let me quickly open the box and show you how they have turned out to be. So here are the sneakers. So as you can see the sneakers resemble Air Jordan 1 High Chicago's completely now. So there are 4 changes made on the sneaker in total. I'm going to give you a before and after look of all of those 4 changes quickly. So the first thing being made on the toe areas earlier, the tip and the back were painted red in color because of the restriction on the Nike website. But I've gotten the back painted white which resembles the mid panel of the sneaker now. Second change being made on the back of the sneaker. So this entire back portion was also painted red in color. I've gotten this painted white as well so that this could match the middle part and the vamp of the sneaker. So now the sneaker has a color scheme of red, white, red and white. So it perfectly matches the color scheme of a dunk as well. Third change being a very small change on the tongue of the sneakers. So earlier the entire tongue was painted as white in color. I have given it a black borderline because I just wanted to add a little bit more black onto the sneaker to match the swoosh and the back tab. And the fourth change being very noticeable, I have added black flat laces to the sneaker because again I wanted to add a little more black onto the sneaker to match the swoosh and the back tab and this black borderline on the tongue. So that now the sneaker has got good color combination of red, white and black onto it and these three are my favorite colors and I think that now the sneaker looks amazing and there is a significant improvement from what it was earlier. Again, I'm so happy that I finally have a pair of Chicago's in my collection and I can't express my happiness 
about how excited I am to wear these sneakers and I think they're going to be great for summers and I'm going to wear these a ton. So enough about the sneaker here, I quickly want to touch on Nike by you. I know a lot of people out there love sneakers and that is the reason you're watching this channel as well. And I know a lot of people do want to have some particular colors on the sneakers but they cannot find it or they cannot afford it. So I feel that Nike by you is a great platform for the true sneaker that's out there who love sneakers not just because of the hype behind it but because of the color combination or how they look on their feet. So you guys can definitely check out Nike by you. It is on the Nike website and also the Nike application. And I have also made a step-by-step -step guide on how you can customize your own Nike sneaker because this is my third Nike by you sneaker. The first one that I did was a pair of Air Force One mids that I'm quickly going to show you because that pair was also inspired by an iconic sneaker. So here it is. This is a pair of Air Force One mid breads. This was inspired by Air Jordan 1 high breads, which is another iconic sneaker that I wanted to add in my collection, majorly because of the color scheme of black and red. As I mentioned, I love sneakers with black, white and red on them. And thus, I just... And thus, I did it around two years back. And since then, I wanted to get a pair of Chicago's, but I didn't want to go for another Air Force One. So thankfully, Nike brought Dunks under Nike by you. And now I finally have a pair of breads and Chicago's in my collection. And yeah, quickly talking about the money. So got these sneakers for 11,000 rupees from Nike by you. The customizer took 2,500 rupees. So in total, it costed me 13,500 rupees to get a pair of Chicago Dunks. Wherein the original Chicago Dunks, the SB version is going for anywhere around 50, 55,000 rupees. So I think I have saved significant amount of money to get this done. I just a little bit of hassle to wait around a month to get from Nike by you and then getting it re-customized, waiting for another 10 days or so. But I think it was all worth it because I've saved a lot of money to get this particular color scheme in my collection. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video over here. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you liked it, do hit the thumbs up button down there. If you're new here, do subscribe to the channel and do let me know down in the comment section what you think about these sneakers. Do you think it's better to get them customized and give them the look that you want? Or do you think that it's better to save up money and wait and buy the original pair instead? So, thank you so much once again. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.